Uh, my question is, if I want to learn more about the human body, would you recommend just doing more yoga or uh, reading uh, the human uh, body as it's described in yogic sciences or just be experienced by exercising uh, more often? Doing the mm -hmm. <laughs> Grace Anatomy <laughs> Uh, if you want to know about the human system, see through the process of Kriya one can know and understand the system in a completely different way. But this is… Uh, this is a very painful and unfortunate reality today. What I find is very few people are willing to give themselves to the needed discipline the way they should. Especially in this part of the world, it's very difficult to put people into any kind of, you know, long enough discipline to explore the possibilities. Somehow uh, that kind of attitude is… Uh, in the world is, you know, giving yourself totally to something is so… has diminished so much very few people can do that. Apart from that, if we want to explore the Kriyas in a powerful way to know things, it needs a certain psychological strength and also physiological strength. This is another thing that I am noticing. If I look at thousand bodies, if I look at thousand people as physical bodies, I don't find even twenty to thirty people who would be capable of serious sadhana. They would take a long time to prepare their systems. Just the ways of living has done that. This is what has… you know, these people will reap the problems of this as time goes by. You will see this, the complexities of ailments and diseases will multiply a hundredfold in the next hundred years because the system is weakening like never before. The human system is weakening like never before. They may be growing muscles, that's not it. The basic system is not strengthened because there may be may various things, I can't ascribe this to any particular reason, but it's distinctly different than what it was hundred years ago and what it is now. To find a body which is stable, to find people with absolutely stable mind and body, you have to search or you have to work a long time to prepare them. Even people who come with great determination, I find they crack up if you put them into real serious sadhana. Sadhana for well-being, very easy. To make you feel well, it's very easy. Just this shamba be simple, you'll feel great. You go to Bhavaspandana, you'll be floating around. That's enough to live a good life. But if you want to know the fundamentals of life, if you want to know the process of creation itself, then it takes a different kind of approach altogether. Reading the yogic books won't mean anything because talking about subjective dimensions from an intellectual understanding is just a waste of time. We could do some little things to explore a few things at least, if not the whole thing. Definitely. It takes heartbreaking sadhana, you know. <laughs> it is a different kind of approach to life. It, the life will not yield its secrets so easily. It has that's why life is sustained for so long, because it doesn't yield so easily. It has lived so long and it sustained itself so long on this planet because it is so intricately built and it's all held within each other. If you want to enter that and look at it, it takes a certain amount of effort. <laughs>